electric vehicles are ushering in significant transformations within the automotive industry. These silent, non-polluting, high-performance cars are expected to render their internal combustion counterparts obsolete by 2025. Today, we delve into the technologies of the Tesla Model S, which has recently claimed the title of the world's fastest accelerating car. We'll explore how electric cars have achieved superior performance by examining the technology behind the induction motor, inverter, lithium-ion battery power source, and, most importantly, the vehicle's synchronized mechanism in a logical and step-by-step -step manner. Tesla's Electric Motor Technology at the heart of Tesla cars lies an innovation that dates back about a hundred years, created by the renowned scientist Nikola Tesla, the induction motor. This motor is divided into two essential parts, the stator and the rotor. The rotor is made up of a series of conductive bars connected at the ends by rings. It receives three-phase alternating electric power from the stator, which, through coils, generates a rotating magnetic field. This four-pole magnetic field induces current in the rotor bars, causing it to rotate. Unlike conventional motors, the rotor in an induction motor does not immediately follow the rotating magnetic field. Its main advantage is the elimination of brushes and permanent magnets, offering both robustness and efficiency. Speed is controlled by simply adjusting the frequency of the alternating current, which facilitates the reliable and simplified management of the traction wheel's speed. The motor is connected to a unit that alters the current's frequency, regulating speed, which can range from 0 to 18,000 RPM. This adjustability is one of the key benefits of electric vehicles compared to internal combustion vehicles, which only operate efficiently within a limited speed range, making a direct connection of the motor to the wheels impractical without a transmission system to vary the speed. On the other hand, the induction motor maintains its efficiency regardless of speed, eliminating the need for a variable transmission. Internal combustion engines, which convert linear motion into rotational, face significant mechanical balancing challenges and cannot start on their own, presenting an irregular power output. To overcome these limitations, various accessories are required. With an induction motor, however, direct rotational movement and stable power output are achieved, eliminating many of the components necessary in combustion engines. This arrangement results in better responsiveness and a more favorable power-to-weight ratio, significantly enhancing vehicle performance. The power source for the motor comes from a battery pack that produces direct current. Before being supplied to the motor, this current needs to be converted into alternating current, a task performed by an inverter. This crucial component not only adjusts the current's frequency but also its amplitude, thereby controlling the motor's power. Thus, the inverter plays an essential role, acting as the electric car's brain. Therefore, the induction motor technology in Tesla vehicles not only simplifies automotive mechanics by eliminating the need for complex components found in combustion engines but also offers more precise and efficient control over vehicle performance. The integration of the inverter as the central controller allows for fine adjustments in power delivery and speed, standing out as an elegant and effective solution in the landscape of modern electric vehicles. Understanding Tesla's Battery Pack Let's delve into the battery pack used in Tesla vehicles, a crucial component for the operation of an electric car. Interestingly, the pack consists of common lithium-ion cells, similar to those found in everyday devices. To meet the car's energy demands, these cells are arranged in series and parallel configurations. Interspersed among them are metallic tubes through which a glycol-based coolant flows. Utilizing many small cells allows for more efficient cooling, preventing hot spots and ensuring an evenly distributed temperature. This significantly extends the lifespan of the pack. The system is divided into removable modules, with a total of 16 modules comprising approximately 7,000 cells. The glycol, when heated, is cooled as it passes through a radiator located at the front of the vehicle. It's important to note that placing this extensive battery pack close to the ground lowers the center of gravity, substantially improving the car's stability. Moreover, its distribution across the vehicle's floor contributes to greater structural rigidity, offering protection against side impacts. Moving on to Tesla's propulsion system, the energy from the motor is transmitted to the wheels through a transmission. 
In the Tesla Model S, for example, there is a single-speed gearbox that proves efficient under various operational conditions. The motor's speed is reduced in two stages, and reverse gear is easily engaged by simply changing the phase of the energy used. The primary function of the transmission in an electric car involves reducing speed and amplifying torque. Within this gearbox, an open-type differential is also found. This type of differential may present traction control issues, a relevant concern. However, why would a vehicle as advanced as a Tesla opt for an open differential, which is theoretically less capable of controlling traction? The reason for this choice lies in the open differential's robustness and its ability to handle higher torque. The challenges related to traction control can be effectively addressed through two methods, selective braking and power cutoff. In induction motors, like those used by Tesla, this power cutoff is extremely responsive and effective. This entire process is controlled by an advanced algorithm, with the aid of sensors and controllers, optimizing the vehicle's performance in various driving situations. How Electric Cars Work Did you know that an electric car can be efficiently operated with just one pedal? This feature is due to its advanced regenerative braking system. This system allows for the conservation of the vehicle's vast kinetic energy, converting it into electricity instead of losing it as heat. When the accelerator pedal is released in an electric car, the regenerative braking is automatically activated. Interestingly, during this process, the induction motor functions as a generator. The wheels drive the rotor of the induction motor. In such motors, the rotor's speed is always lower than that of the rotating magnetic field. To change the motor's function to a generator, it's essential that the rotor's speed exceed that of the rotating magnetic field. The inverter is crucial in this context, as it adjusts the frequency of the input energy, keeping the speed of the rotating magnetic field below that of the rotor. This action generates electricity in the stator coils, in greater quantity than the energy initially supplied. The produced electricity is stored in the battery pack. During this process, an opposing electromagnetic force acts on the rotor, reducing the speed of the wheels and the car. Thus, the vehicle's speed can be precisely controlled using just one pedal. The brake pedal can still be used to bring the vehicle to a complete stop. As you may know, electric cars are safer than those powered by internal combustion engines. The cost to maintain and operate an electric car is significantly lower than that of a combustion engine vehicle. With disadvantages being overcome by continuous technological development, electric cars are becoming the transportation of the future. We thank Ju Garcia, an electric car specialist and content creator on YouTube, for the technical support in this video. Your support on Patreon.com is immensely valuable, enabling us to produce more free educational content. Thank you for joining us. So, what do you think about all these innovations? Leave your opinion here in the comments and don't forget to see what others are saying about it.